Hi, welcome back to Andrew Cody Show. This is HTC Butterfly 2, and this is Phil from AndrewCody.com. So this is their latest flagship. Uh, it added the waterproof and dustproof functionality up to the previous flagship, HTC M8 and the E8. So it comes with the same old processor, uh, Snap Qualcomm Snapdragon 801, and uh, two gigabytes of RAM, and that 2,700 milliamps amps of the battery. So this has enough specs to impress anyone. It's got a five inch full HD display, although that's not exactly highest resolution. It does have its looks. It's in red, comes in three different colors, red, white, and blue. Uh, one we got is in red and blue, uh, red and black scheme. So let's take through the HTC Butterfly 2. So this is the phone itself, and there is two partitions, two compartments inside the box including micro USB cable, earphones with the red cap to match the color of the phone, and there is a charger. Aside from that is the reflex. As usual, there is a lot of reflex. Um, agreements, blah, 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 SIM card warnings, don't cut your SIM cards into nano, those stuff. And this is the phone. So this is the Butterfly 2, and we are gonna peel this off plastic. And And they did add up that 13 megapixel dual camera. So HTC One M M7 started with the ultra pixel camera that was followed by the M8. They had four megapixel ultra pixel camera, which wasn't exactly received good critically. And um, HTC E8 was replaced by the 13 megapixel camera. And now this guy has two dual 13 megapixel camera that enables you to move your focus uh, after you take a photo. So this is a five incher, uh, five inches of full HD display, and the top and bottom is dominated by that boom sound stereo speaker. Uh, it's one of their known features. And on the right is a volume rocker with the nano SIM card slot. It's a waterproof smartphone, but maybe that is why they couldn't pin a hole here that most of the manufacturers are doing. So you, there is a little place over here you put your fingernail in there and you just pull it off like a drawer. And this is the nano SIM card slot. And coming to the top is a power, uh, power key with the infrared port over there. And the another slot over here, of course, is the micro SD card slot. So if you are not satisfied with the built-in storage, you can add up to 128 gigabytes of micro SD card over to expand your storage. And there's a micro USB card, uh, micro USB port and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with the microphone. And on the back is a aforementioned 13 megapixel duo camera. Finally, it seems like they're getting what they need to do. It's not four megapixel duo camera. It's not a single 13 megapixel camera. It's a 13 megapixel, 13 megapixels duo camera that truly differentiates HTC from the other manufacturers. And there's an LED flash, of course, with the HTC logo and along with the lots of certification logos here and there. So this is how they look. Black and red scheme matches perfectly over here. And powering it on. While we power it on, let's do a little flash comparison with the other smartphones in the market, such as the Galaxy S5. The Galaxy S5 has a slightly bigger screen and is same waterproof and everything. You can see the size differences and this is the Galaxy Alpha. Uh, this is a 4.7, uh, perhaps eight, confusing, uh, intro device over here. As always, um, as a HTC device with the boom, uh, boom sound stereo speaker, it is a bit taller and bigger and probably a bit thicker in the same time because of that waterproof functionality. And the settings isn't anything spectacular. It's always the way it has been. And uh, we're gonna skip through it. Whoops. We're gonna skip through all the usual settings and dive right into the HCC Sense launcher. It has their latest interface since uh, 6.0. Let it finish the setup, and the main screen is not gonna uh, look any different than the previous HTC, uh, HTC devices. It's got the blink feed, and the main screen, and the app drawer, of course. 
and going to the settings gives us the detailed information about the phone. It's got a Android 4.4.2 right here, and it's got Sense 6.0 along with other built-in stuff. So this is the HTC Butterfly 2. This is waterproof and does proof in the same time. So we'll be testing this guy back, uh, this guy out, how it performs on the water condition. So stay focused, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to Andre uh, KJ channel. Um, those of you who always watch the um, hey, uh, YouTube channel only there, we got the homepage. There's underkg.com, very simple, very easy to remember. So don't forget to drop by there. We got more photos and the more sample, um, in case of reviews, we got more photos there of the photos taken by the phone's camera. So don't forget to drop there by, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel with the underkg view, along with other um, social medias. We got uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Don't forget to do that. And if you do, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you always for watching.